Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about radars. Many of you might know what a radar is, as we hear that term quite often in our daily lives. But actually, a radar is not just a big thing. There are even small radars, varying in different sizes. A system for detecting the presence and direction speed of various substances or any material by the use of waves, microwaves which are reflected of the object are all performed by radars. Further in this presentation, we are going to see working principle of radars, how is signal processed in radars, basic types of radars and how we calculate the distance using them. principle of radar oscillator is the first block of radar which generates the analog signal it is then converted to sync pulses and transmitted these radio waves if are struck to an object they get reflected back the antenna receives these radio waves and which are again been amplified so that they can be displayed and a perfect judgment of an object radar signal processing this is the segment which has heavy usage of digital signal processing concepts using time domain processing and frequency domain processing we find out range of object speed of object desired range resolution and how to suppress unwanted signal clutter to find range we precisely use band pass sampling. Speed is found out using discrete Fourier transform or fast Fourier transform. Range of an object is found using fast convolution or windowing method. To suppress the unwanted signal clutter, we use FIR filters. FIR stands for finite impulse response our frequency band the band used is of radio frequency which includes L band S band C band X band KU band KA band the frequencies given ahead of each of the brand correspond to them. Types of radars. Radars are basically classified into two types. First, continuous wave radars, also called CW radars. Second, pulse radars. In CW radars, we have independent transmitting and receiving antenna, so it, they are also called as bistatic radars. In pulse radars, we have single antenna among transmitter and receiver. It is being time shared, co-located transmitter and receiver with the sharing of antenna. A pulse is transmitted and then the radar listens for the return. The strength of the signal is proportional to the target distance and its electrical size. The change is calculated from the time delay. Pulse radar are also called as monostatic radars. Radar waveforms. Here we have examples of pulse radar waveform and CW radar waveforms. In the first one, that is pulse radar, there are waveforms of transmitter, receiver radio frequency, and receiver IF frequency, as well as receiver baseband. Radars because of the common antenna of transmitter and receiver there is a gap in sending and receiving whereas in cw radars the pulses are continuous the difference in the frequencies of transmitter and receiver is being sampled and again converted to analog waves this helps in 
target detection using so this is the part which is the of utmost importance as per the application is concerned here the technique goes as follows In pulse radar system, the range is calculated by measuring time from the diagram given in the right. We can see the formula is derived as R is equal to C into tau by 2, where R is the range of jet, C is velocity propagation, tau is the time delay between transmission and reception. It is divided by 2 in the formula because the distance is covered twice by the wave, once by transmission and other by receiving. In order to calculate the actual distance, we divide it by 2. Velocity of target. This is done by use of the concept of Doppler shift, where we use the vectorial methods to calculate the actual velocity. The velocity has two components. First is the radial velocity component and second is the tangential velocity component. Orientation of the object is calculated upon how the Doppler shift is produced. In the given diagram below, we can see that if the plane approaches towards the antenna, the Doppler shift produced is ma maximum. The direction of propagation is tangential. Whereas in the second case, when it is moving normal, that is towards the y direction, the Doppler shift produces zero. A part of target velocity produces Doppler shift when it moves in any of the other directions other than the coordinate, di coordinate axis directions. We conclude up upon the session of radar signal processing. For further queries, feel free to contact by giving a feedback. As well as you can refer to the book. We would like to thank Professor Ashi Sekar who gave us an opportunity to present our knowledge over radar signal processing and it was really a wonderful experience. Thank you.